Welcome to the Eaton Family Thunderdrome. It's the Muscle Car League. Meet 2, Season 10. Championship re-race, race 1. This is a fine, fine race. All these cars are top 10 cars, including the Grand Champion Corvette Grand Sport, who won the whole damn thing in Meet 1. Big surprise was... It wasn't the El Camino who came in second. It was this guy. The Dodge Charger, RT. El Camino was set up for a for grandstand finish, but he could not, could not do it. This is a very good race. We've got 90 career wins between these five cars. Grand Sport Corvette, the Grand Champion, is the favorite. Let us see if anyone can knock him off his perch. Because the more wins he gets, the harder it is going to be to run down. Good tight race, is very close. The Grand Champion's got a lead now, he's leading in one. Not to go to the photo finish for the second, it's the 92 Mustang. And the Grand Sport is away. They're going to find it hard to catch him if they keep keep letting him win. <laughs> I suppose they got no choice in the matter. He is that damn quick. It was nice to see that the 92 Mustang came in second. He's jostling with the, with the Dodge Charger RT for those second places. Leads us to race two. 104 career wins between these five guys. And we've got two top 10 cars in here only. It's the Dodge Daytona who takes up the 55, the lion's share of the wins. Oh, he's been having a hell of a time in the last few seasons. First race of the se season 10, he finishes dead last in the preliminary heats. Wow, is it time to retire? <laughs> who is the favorite? It's got to be between these two guys, the Plymouth and the Copo Corvette, both finishing second in their preliminary heats, both with a heap of wins in the past, but my mind is going towards the Plymouth Roadrunner, uh, but I'm hoping that the, the Copo Corvette can come back. He's dangerously close to being relegated. And the Firebird. Well, what can you say about the Firebird? The old stager, top 10 car. He's still in there. And then while he's running, here's a chance. You never can tell. Gas Monkey in lane four. Wow, he came fourth in his preliminary race last meet. Definitely needs to step up a notch. And this is a good race to do it. We got guys that are out of form. So anything can happen. Let's see who gets that second spot in the championship race. Good job today, Kona. Plymouth is pressing him in two. Plymouth's got the lead now. Katona second. Firebird third. But it's Plymouth one and two. Plymouth Roadrunner brings up his dozen career wins and a spot in the championship race is his. 
Good to note that it was Plymouth 1 and 2 with the legend Daytona pulling out a great second and hopefully that's the start of a good run for him. Race 3. 68 career wins between these five cars. A bit of a drop down and most of the wins go between the Charger in 4 and the Torino in 5. Both cars... Both legends, both on a downward spiral. The Torino came in last in his preliminary race, but a bit of a positive sign for the Charger. He was second in his, so he has slight favoritism over the Copo Camaro in lane three, who is a top 10 car, but finished fourth in his preliminary race. The Mercury Cougar is always a beautiful car. I love this one. Flames, green flames. He and the Chevy in lane one both came third in their preliminary races. So all these cars could do with wins. Let's see who starts their season off with a win. Charging Torino head to head on the inside. Charging to the lead now. Cougar and Chevy jostling for second on the outside. Going to a photo finish. Charger wins. Mercury Cougar gets the second. Dodge Charger getting his first race win of the season. Is he back to form? We'll have to see after the championship race. Race four. Ten career wins between these five. That's a huge drop. Mainly because we've got two rookies only in their second meets. That's the Mark I and Muscle Speeder. Bit of a disappointing start. But in this field, they can show what they've got. The Mustang. Daddy loves a Mustang. Wow. But he came last in his preliminary race. Beautiful car. Just lacking speed this season. The Superbird. He is the favorite. He finished third in his preliminary race. And the Buick Regal, he finished last. So all these cars are pretty much on Struggle Street. <sighs> someone's going to win. Someone's going to look like they're turning the season around. Who's it going to be? For mine, it's the Superbird. Superbird, Buick, head to head on the inside. Mark 1's past the Mustang on the outside. But still Superbird leading. Superbird wins. The Mark 1 coming in second. favorite Superbird wins the race. It was very close. It was encouraging to see the Mark 1, a very close second, but the Plymouth wins this day and is in the championship race. We got one more spot up for grabs. It's race 5. 40 career wins between these five cars and all the wins go to these two. The Grabber, top 10 car, who finished third in his preliminary, and the 75 Stingray, who finished fourth. However, they are not the favorites. The SVO is the favorite. Hasn't won a race in his second meet. The rookie finished second. 
very good second. And he's up against, look at this Mercury Cougar, many time Patriots League champion, got a dozen minor race wins in his second meet in Muscle Car League. He finished a third in preliminaries. Watch him, watch him closely. I think he'll give the SVO a run for his money. And the Corvette, 68 Corvette, finished fourth in his first meet. Oh, he's a beautiful car. Got to love a Corvette. Well, who's gonna take that last spot? Three out of five chance it's gonna be a rookie. Let's find out for sure. Corvette's going head down. Oh, the orange Corvette, he's hit the red, he's on, out of it. SBO leads the Mercury into the, into the finishing line. But look at him, poor old, poor old Corvette. What happened? Welcome to the Championship Race Muscle Car League, Meet 2, Season 10. 97 career wins between these five guys. We've got three cars, the middle three, their first Championship Race of the season. And the SVO, his first ever. The Grand Sport Grand Champion. 41 championships. He won the last meet. He is the outright favorite, almost unbackable. The only other cars to win championships are the Plymouth in lane two. Top 10 car has won one championship. And the Charger in three has won two. Wow, well, this is interesting. I can't see anyone here that will come even close to the Grand Sport. Let's see. Good drop, the SEO. Superbo's right in his hammer. Plymouth's moving past the Grand Sport on the outside. Plymouth has the lead. Plymouth wins. He has upset the Grand Champion, winning his first meet of the year.